Good evening. After an 11 year old boy from Akron, Ohio drowned in Lake Erie this past weekend, the Conneaut community is asking for change and they want it now. They spoke with members of the Conneaut Township Parks Commission asking for safety improvements and then having a vigil to honor the young boy known as Hunter. Matt Mathias was there tonight and has the latest. Matt. Well, Jen, it's difficult when anyone suffers a loss, but the loss of a child is unimaginable. And if there's anything that can prevent it from happening again, people want to see it happen. Some days Lake Erie can be so calm and beautiful. Other days it becomes a monster and can take people's lives. That's Last Friday, an 11 year old boy from Akron was sucked into the lake while merely ankle deep in water looking for sea glass and he wasn't found until Tuesday afternoon near the break wall. When this does happen, it affects all of us because before we know even the person's name, we wonder if it's our family or our friends or our friends, children or grandchildren. And every time it happens, our hearts just sink. My family and I were going to go in that day as well. Members of the Conneaut, Ohio community, along with the family of the deceased boy named Hunter, are asking Township Park Commissioners for change and in a hurry. People here are saying there are so many ways Hunter could have been helped. And with additions of things like life jacket stations, lifeguards, riptide awareness signage, a flag system, and much more, a death could have been prevented. A local 15-year-old is even looking to take this on himself, making beach safety a possible Eagle Scout project. From the short amount of time that I've lived here, roughly about three years, um, this has happened once per year, at least. Conneaut Township officials say they sympathized with those experiencing the loss. And in a month, they said they'd come back to the table and consider a feasibility study on safety options. Peak summer travel and beach season in Conneaut is already underway, and they'd rather be proactive than reactive moving forward. No more lives lost. Um, it doesn't need to happen. It was senseless, and there needs to be change, reform. It's just lackluster. It's disappointing even about the current state of safety within this park. And I guess I just wish that they were more with us and they could give us a faster solution. And the family asked not to be shown on camera, but they do tell us they're determined to see action sooner rather than later. Jen. All right, Matt Mathias in our studio tonight. Thank you, Matt.